everybody. This week, because Democrats and responsible Republicans came together, the government was reopened and the threat of default was removed from our economy. There's been a lot of discussion lately of the politics of this shutdown, but the truth is there were no winners in this. At a time when our economy needs more growth and more jobs, the manufactured crisis of these last few weeks actually harmed jobs and growth. And it's understandable that your frustration with what goes on in Washington has never been higher. The way business is done in Washington has to change. Now that these clouds of crisis and uncertainty have lifted, we need to focus on what the majority of Americans sent us here to do. Grow the economy, create good jobs, strengthen the middle class, lay the foundation for broad-based prosperity, and get our fiscal house in order for the long haul. We won't suddenly agree on everything now that the cloud of crisis has passed, but we shouldn't hold back on places where we do agree just because we don't think it's good politics or just because the extremes in our parties don't like compromise. I'll look for willing partners from either party to get important work done. There's no good reason why we can't govern responsibly without lurching from manufactured crisis to manufactured crisis. Because that isn't governing. It's just hurting the people we were sent here to serve. Those of us who have the privilege to serve this country have an obligation to do our job the best we can. We come from different parties, but we're Americans first, and our obligations to you must compel all of us, Democrats and Republicans, to cooperate and compromise and act in the best interests of this country that we love.